In this video, you will learn to compute hypothesis tests and confidence intervals for a single proportion with summary data using StatCrunch. If a coin is fair, the proportion of heads the coin will produce over a very long run of flips should be 0.5. A coin was flipped 50 times and resulted in 31 heads and 19 tails. So the question I'm going to test is, do the 50 outcomes in the short run of flips suggest the coin is unfair? To conduct the appropriate hypothesis test, under the stat menu, I'll choose proportion stats, one sample, with summary. In StatCrunch, a success is defined as the outcome of interest. In this case, we consider a head to be the result of a success. So, the number of successes was 31, and the total number of observations was 50. Under Perform, you'll notice by default the hypothesis test option is already chosen, and I'm going to leave the null at 0.5. I'll click Compute. The test output includes the observed sample proportion of heads, the test statistic, and the p-value. Now instead of computing a hypothesis test, let's compute a confidence interval for the proportion of interest. To do so under Options, choose Edit. This takes us back to the original window where we set up our test. In this window, StatCrunch has other options for the user to choose. This time, instead of choosing a hypothesis test, I'm going to choose a confidence interval. By default, StatCrunch has a value of 0.95 for the level, which will produce a 95% confidence interval for the population proportion. Changing this value to 0.99 for this input would produce a 99% confidence interval. However, for this example, I will leave it at 0.95 and click Compute. The results show a 95% confidence interval for the long-run proportion of heads where L limit represents the lower limit and U limit represents the upper limit. By default, StatCrunch uses the standard wall normal approximation for calculating confidence intervals. Instead, we could use the alternative agresti cool method. Back under Options, choose Edit. Under Confidence Interval, in the Methods box, I'm going to change it to agresti cool I'll click Compute, and now the results show a new confidence interval based on the Agresti-Cool method. 